Well, that was eye-opening, Jenny. Thanks. Anytime. Those were all commercial games you showed me. But what about educational games? Do they offer the same kinds of pleasures? Many of them, sure. There are lots that are educational and also really fun to play. For example, the Possible Worlds games all offer a mix of the pleasures I described. In The Ruby Realm, an adventure game about photosynthesis, you navigate a maze-like cavern in search of kids who have been captured by vampires. The vampires are out to get you, but that's not your only problem. You're controlling this robot, Biobot Bob, who functions as your scout. But he keeps running out of fuel. Part machine, part plant, he's powered by a photosynthesis-like process. To get him going again, you need to keep making glucose. How do you do that? With his molecule replicator. How else? You shoot beams of light at CO2 and water molecules to pop them apart. Then you recombine the atoms to make glucose. You can use the same atoms to make other substances, such as methanol, which fuels Bob's turbo boosters, and tear gas, which he uses to repel vampires. Assembling the molecules is a fun challenge for solution game fans. Or you can enjoy it as an arrangement game, referring to a model and trying to fit the pieces into the proper pattern. There are password puzzles, too, that you solve so you can unlock treasure-filled vaults. And there's lots of collision action. You use Bob's boosters to blast through walls, and you get past vampires by shooting tear gas at them. I didn't know vampires could cry. See, you learned something already. Another possible world's game is Monster Music. It's a platformer and puzzle game about electricity. Your goal is to save a city of music-loving monsters who have suddenly been de-energized by a mysterious force. You're a young musician whose mission is to record new tunes that will revive them. But getting your unruly band to create music involves lining them up in a certain way. These alignment puzzles, a model for the flow of electricity, offer the kind of challenges and pleasures you find in arrangement and solution games. Once you've recorded your tune, you dash to deliver it to the exhausted citizens. You leap, climb, slide, and bounce from platform to platform. The fun comes from learning to time your jumps well and avoid the many obstacles. A classic dexterity game. And there are word puzzles to solve, too. Where there's a will, there's a way. Come again? The solution to that word puzzle. You're good. Now let's take a look at Robo Riot, a game about randomness and dominance in genetics. You're part of a squad that repairs robots on a planet where bots do many different jobs. When a hacker infects them with a virus, they go haywire, and you've got to disable and fix them. To do that, you build rescue robots from recycled parts. You need to make bots with features that will be useful when they confront infected bots with different strengths and weaknesses. But the recycler randomly combines parts of two junk bots to create a new one, so you can't control the outcome. You have to run it until it produces the bots you think you need. Figuring out which robots to use in a given situation is a head-scratcher that requires strategic thinking. Or you can just wing it and see what happens. It's fun either way. Finally, to reboot the robots you fixed, you solve a word puzzle. I like that little dance the robots do. The last game, Galactic Gloop Zoo, is a puzzle game about heat transfer. Exotic alien creatures are about to go on display, but the eggs haven't hatched. You have to warm or cool them as needed in order to hatch them in time. To do that, you use gloops, creatures that can transfer heat through conduction, convection, and radiation, depending on their type. Your goal is to put together sequences of heat transfer events that will result in the eggs warming or cooling enough to hatch. Solving these Rube Goldberg-like puzzles starts off simple, but they get trickier as you go. And you access new levels by playing a word game. post photo -ish. What kind of word is that? Play it and find out. I will. I'm doing a unit on heat transfer soon. Want to come demo the game for my kids? Trust me, Mom. They'll figure it out fast. Plus, like other possible world games, Gloop Zoo has a tutorial. Great! So, want to give it a spin? Sure! How do I start? Easy! Just put on your zookeeper spacesuit and off you go!